And before we get started, I just wanted to mention Bruce Stark's book, The uh, Automag, The Pasadena Days. Uh, Bruce is the most learned, knowledgeable person on the Automag that there is, and uh, everyone who owns an Automag or has interest in one uh, must get his book, and I'll have a uh, email of his at the bottom of this video so um, you can email him and get a copy. So here we go. Hi everybody, Jeff Kelly here. Uh, today we've got our auto mags uh, with us and I wanted to do a little short video on the worst thing that ever happened to the auto mag. And, uh, You'll probably understand the minute I show you, but uh, this is it. The worst thing that ever happened to Automag, this plastic case. Many guys who bought these guns relied on this little plastic latch to hold the gun in place. This is a three and a quarter pound gun. They would carry it, the latch would pop open, the gun would drop out, land on the concrete, and uh, that's not very good. Second thing that would happen is this plastic handle, which is just a couple of plastic uh, knobs that are inside the case here, would pull out and your gun would drop on the concrete. But the worst thing that happened was the guys who didn't take them out of the box when they bought them and left them sitting around in this stupid thing and this junk inside here, this foam works like acid on stainless steel and that was the death of a lot of beautiful automags and i will show you some examples so let's uh, get started with that okay so after looking at the foam in the horrible, awful scourge of the Automag called the case. Let's look at a perfect one. Now this is uh, a North Hollywood Automag I picked up and uh, it is perfect. You can see the, um, the steel. Uh, there's not a blemish on it and it is brand new. Let's take a look at the other side. Beautiful, this was gotten out of that carrying case immediately and uh, preserved beautifully. So there's the example of the perfect one. Now let's go over here to the front of the line. This one here is a Pasadena. I just picked this up and uh, the best thing about it is that it's, it's uh, serial number 235 and that one happened to have been made on the first day of shipping August 3rd 1971. But as you can see this has a great deal of foam damage that has been polished or tried to be polished off. They've always, almost taken off the, the etching of the Pasadena and um, so, uh, but you can see that the frame has been bead blasted. This catch here, the frame is uh, uh, nicely bead blasted. But let's go to the other side and see where the uh, damage really occurred. So, the barrel is totally polished. 
You can see that. In fact, it's polished so much that the Made in USA has been polished off of the barrel. And let's start from back here. The um, uh, uh, slide catch is bead blasted and you can see the um, pitting in the slide catch. You can see the bead blasted frame there where the springs go and the pitting in the frame from that horrendous acid like foam and uh, so uh, that ruined an awful lot of automatics now here's another Pasadena and this one has got far less damage but you can see a few dark spots on the um, vent rib but uh, the rest of it looks pretty good let's flip it over and uh, take a look you can see some dark spots on the site and the vent rib uh, but other than that see the USA is still nicely there and uh, the uh, slide lock is still uh, separate piece instead of looking like it was bead blasted in but you can see uh, if you look closely the receiver and the barrel were brushed and the um, grain goes up and down so when you try and polish these it gets all that grain off and you can tell that they're just not in original condition now this one here is another Pasadena, really in great shape, except for the foam damage. You can see a little bit there on the trigger guard, and uh, you can see a little tiny bit there on the uh, vent rib. But the other side is really where uh, we can... Uh, see a lot more of it here uh, you can see it on the trigger guard and um, the vent rib the top of the rib a little more on the site but this thing is almost unfired condition but you have this yeah foam damage which is not extensive but uh, I will show you some foam damage that is expensive but uh, this is what happened to a lot of the Pasadenas and the North, and the North Hollywoods and to some extent the um, uh, some high standards uh, so there's that now let's take a look at some really uh, good examples of foam damage these are these are rarely fairly minor and uh, I'm still glad to have these but uh, uh, we have some other examples that are pretty bad okay here's a another example of a Pasadena you can see along the barrel there it has some uh, foam damage and here's the other side uh, it's too bad that this is so damaged but it's a nice example of the type uh, 2 ordering where you have the serial number on the magazines on the frame and also on the uh, receiver and here's a North Hollywood with uh, frame damage uh, receiver damage barrel damage uh, all from that acid like uh, foam and here's the other side uh, the North Hollywood uh, you can see somebody's tried to get a lot of that damage off and brushed away all that beautiful dark etching they normally come with there's a nice uh, a little speckling there on the receiver on the front of the barrel I hope uh, this isn't uh, getting any of you uh, ill but uh, this is what happens 
And this is another Pasadena. Uh, this one is actually up for auction right now on the day of uh, this video, and I'll uh, show you a little closer shot of it. Here's a little closer shot. Uh, this is up on Gunbroker right now, uh, January 20th, 2020. Uh, and you can see how damaged it is just from laying there on that uh, one side in the, in the box with the foam. Well, here's the worst one of the bunch. Uh, this one was actually up for auction last month at Rock Island Auction Company, and it sold for $3,500. So there is uh, still hope for even the bad ones. Uh, they retain their collectability. Um, you can see that this one is pretty damaged from that foam, and you probably have to polish most of the metal off to get that stuff off of there but um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, click on the subscribe box down the lower right hand corner and um, I will see you on the uh, next one